Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the partition labels problem. A string S of lowercase letters is given. We want to partition the string into as many parts as possible, so that each letter appears in at most one part, and return a list of integers representing the size of these parts. Example 1, the input is this, this string here, and the output is a list that contains the size of every partition. So this is the explanation. You have the three partitions, this one, this one, and this one, and they satisfy the property that every letter appears in at most one part. As you can see, A appears in at most one part, in this part. It doesn't appear in this part, and it doesn't appear in this part. Or for example, H, it appears in at most one part, and that part is this one. It doesn't appear in this part, and it doesn't appear in this part either. And it also satisfies the condition that we have to partition it into as many parts as possible. So you can see that there are three parts. We were able to partition into three parts. But in this case, this is a part we, we partition into two parts, so this is not correct. This is incorrect, because we have to partition into as many parts as possible. And it says no. S will consist of lowercase letters A to Z only. So how can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem using a greedy approach, using a greedy algorithm. A greedy algorithm is an algorithm that makes locally optimal decisions at each step. So we have to make a decision every time and we have to make the decision greedily. So we need information to make the decision greedily. So if we traverse the string from left to right, whenever we find a letter, then the substring, the current substring, if that letter appears again, then it has to be in the same partition. So that's the key, that's the key idea here. So what we can do is that we can use a map to establish the mapping between a letter and the last position where it appears. So for instance, when we traverse S from left to right, we see this lowercase a, then we store the position in, in a map that says that the last position where A appears in this string is a position 8, as you can see here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we store that A appears in position a position 8 the last time it appears in the string. So that way, whenever we are examining the string again, we can make a greedy decision in order to actually find the partition. And we will be able to partition into as many parts as possible. So we also have to use the two-pointer technique. So we'll ha we will have to use two pointers, start and end. Start is the starting position of the current substring that we are examining now. And end is the end position of the current substring. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code, and as I write the code, I will explain more clearly what I'm doing. So first, I will have an array of integer last. There's a value of new array of integer of size 26. Because the string S only has lowercase letters, I can choose the array to have 26, size 26 because there are only 26 lowercase letters. So this will be my mapping. This array will allow me to map the letter to the last position where, where it happens in the string. So then what I need to do is I, will, I need to have integer start, case of value of zero, and case of value of zero, and end case of value of s dot length. So as you can see, the start index for the starting position of the current substring and the end index for the ending position of the current substring. Then I need to find the last position and store it in my map. So for integer i, case of value 0, i is less than the length of the string, plus plus i. Then last sub s that char at i minus lowercase a, case of value of i. So here, I say that for this character, a position i in the string, I will find the last position where, where it occurs in the, in the input. 
So I have to subtract lowercase a because by subtracting lowercase a from the character, I can have the index to be between 0 and 25. That way I don't have an index out of bounds exception. Then I need a list of integer, the final result gets a value of new array list of integer. And this will be this output here that has the size of every partition. Now I have to examine every character in the string again from left to right. So for integer i gets a value of zero, i is less than the length of the string plus plus i. Then as I said, I have to make a decision greedily. So I will make a locally optimal decision because I want to find the last position. When I, whenever I see a character, I want to find the last position uh, where the character appears in the string. Because if it appears again, it has to be part of this substring, of the current substring. So I want to find that last position. And if I find a later character that ends after that character, then I have to update my end variable. So end gets a value of math that max of the previous ending position that I had before or last sub s that char at i minus lowercase a. So I see this character, I find the last position where if where it occurs and I compare if this character um, ends at a position later than this position, then I have to update my end because that will be the new end of the substring. Then if I get to that position end, if i equals equals end, that means that this is the breaking point. This is the breaking point for this substring, for this partition. So I can add the size of this partition to the final result. So result that add i minus start plus one. And because this was the breaking point, now I can say that start gets a value of i plus one for the new partition. Start gets a value of i plus one because that's the position where the new partition starts. And at the end, I just return the final result. So I will run the code. All right, I will submit my solution. This is working perfectly. Two milliseconds faster than 99.56% of Java submissions for partition labels. So the time complexity is big O of n, where n is the length of the string. And the space complexity in this case is big O of one, because we are only using this array here as extra storage, but the size of the array is 26, which is constant. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.